Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of Karen Corner. I'm Sarah Martin with the Family Caregiver Program here at the UCDD. Thank you so much for joining us on our third episode of this Karen Corner series on caregiving, caring for you, caring for me, an educational and support series for both family and professional caregivers. So last month, uh, we looked at the importance of self-care and how to avoid those caregiver burnouts. Um, now today we're going to talk about relationships when it comes to caregiving. There's almost always at least three parties involved in a caregiving relationship, and that's the professional caregiver, the family caregiver, and then third, the care receiver, the individual that is getting the care. The relationship between the professional and family caregiver is critical in providing appropriate, effective care for that third party, the care receiver. Today, we're gonna to focus on the relationship between family and professional caregivers. We're gonna look at the importance of building cooperative relationships. Um, so we're gonna recognize the importance of those. We're gonna describe some different types of caregiver relationships. We're gonna introduce some elements for building relationships, and then also looking at some skills needed to maintain those relationships. So I want you to think of the professional and family caregiver, as well as the care receiver, as forming a, what we like to call, relationship triangle. Now, sometimes the family caregiver and care receiver have a real close relationship and do not involve or include that professional caregiver. In another relationship, maybe the professional caregiver works with the care receiver and pays little to no attention to the family caregiver. The professional and family caregivers may become too focused on one another, causing both to lose sight of the most important angle of the triangle, and that is the care receiver. Now within that relationship triangle, there are three different styles of caregiving. We have competitive, independent, and cooperative. So the first type of relationship is competitive. Now competitive relationships are where interaction tends to be negative. Those relationships lack support for concerns, priorities, or efforts from one another. Second is the independent relationships. They have very little interaction among either the family or professional caregiver. There's no collaboration or support from one another, as well as little chance of there ever being a relationship developed between the professional caregiver and family caregiver. And sadly, they randomly benefit that care receiver, which is what's so important. In the first two relationships, the caregivers become focused on one another and often forget about the needs of the care receiver. The third type of relationship style in caregiving is cooperative relationships. This is where both the professional and family caregiver are working together to meet the needs of the care receiver. Now the care receiver always needs to be at the top of this relationship triangle. They should never be overlooked. This person needs the shared assistance and support from both the professional and family caregiver in order to receive the best care possible. So in other words, the professional and family caregivers need to become cooperative collaborators. They need to work together towards a common goal to provide the best care possible to that care receiver. In order for the care receiver to receive that best care possible, um, again, cooperative relationship, professional caregiver, family caregiver, working together. They need to be committed to constructive resolutions of conflict, committed to collaboration, have a genuine interest in each other's concerns and priorities, and also purposeful reinforcement of each other's efforts and a greater opportunity to arrive at the plan that reflects both of their goals for the care receiver. So essentially what we describe here um, is mutuality, excuse me, mutuality between professional and family caregivers. 
For professional and family caregivers to become cooperative collaborators, there needs to be effort and planning on both sides. So let's look at some essential elements needed to build that cooperative relationship. And those are effective communication, mutual respect, and trust. So for effective communication, this requires both caregivers to be open and genuine to one another through expressing themselves and listening. There also needs to be mutual respect for one another in this relationship. The caregivers need to view each other as an equal member of the caregiving team through sharing ideas, information, and feelings with one another. And third, both parties need to trust one another. They need to allow time for that trust to develop as well um, over time as they become familiar with one another. Maintaining a cooperative relationship between professional and family caregivers requires continuous effort and involves the use of certain skills. Three specific skills um, for this type of relationship are perspective taking, positive reinforcement, and contact with one another. The first skill is perspective taking, understanding the positions others take by learning what makes them believe, feel, and behave as they do. The second skill is positive reinforcement. Both caregivers need to express their appreci appreciation of one another. Oftentimes, we tend to have more positive attitudes when we know and respect one another. Um, we just, we all like to feel appreciated. And so it's so nice to hear, I appreciate you. Thank you what, you're, what you do for my loved one. And so be sure to pass that on when you can and as, and as often as possible. Lastly, and most important, Frequent contact among one another is an essential skill needed to maintain that cooperative relationship. This can be done through notes, phone calls, video chats, personal visits. Um, each, each situation is different, so what works for one may not work for the other, but be creative and come up with ways um, to maintain that contact with one another. And just to leave you with some quick tips on how to be a more helpful caregiver, whether that's professional or family, um, be accepting. Accept one another for who they are. Let one another's expertise shine in their areas. One area of expertise uh, may lack in the other, and so let that out and let that shine. Um, keep your word. Um, if you say you're going to do something, try your hardest to do that. Um, so you can be trustworthy and dependable. And also just make yourself available. Be there for one another um, and just just let your light shine. Let your light shine. All right, guys. So that um, ends us for our episode today. Join us next month on our second to last um, episode in this caregiving series. And as always, thanks for joining us um, on another episode of our Caring Corner, Caring for You, Caring for Me. Have a great one.